So we at uh, Low Web 2010. Yes. And uh, this is the Renault Twizy. Yes, exactly. This is the Renault Twizy. It's a two-seater in a row. It's a small vehicle, very agile and uh, urban. Yes. Uh, can, can we, uh, can can we talk about it inside? What's going on? Uh, basically, we have uh, everything uh, uh, which is uh, like in a car. So you have a steering wheel, yeah. you have pedals, you have a, a seat with seat belt, you have two seats, you have a small seat you can see inside, uh, you have a small seat uh, at, the, at the back. Looks uh, tight but uh, very comfortable. And uh, basically, the idea is to go in between the two wheeler walls, so it's scooters and cars. So you have a very uh, small footprint with this car, uh, so you can really uh, park easily, go uh, very easily in the street uh, driving. Uh, but you are safe, you're protected from the weather, uh, and you're driving like a, like a car. So it's very safe. You don't have to learn how to ride a bike. And this is really what we think uh, will be the future of mobility inside cities. So you are uh, you, you work on specifically this design, this model. Well, actually, I'm, I'm in charge of this model, but I'm also the deputy uh, director of uh, the EV program at Renault, so I work on other models like uh, Kangoo or Freelance. Because, uh, can, can we walk just around? Oh, no, because no. Uh, uh, Renault announced a, a kind of like a, a series of, of electric vehicles. Yeah, we have a full range of four mo uh, models which will go out from next year, uh, 2011. Yeah. So we'll start with the Kangoo, uh, the Kangoo ZD, which is basically a uh, uh, light commercial van, same as uh, the conventional one, but yeah. uh, zero emission. And then we will go out with uh, the Fluence, mid-2011, which will go uh, mainly in Israel, for example, uh, where it's a big market and we have yeah. a partner over there, Better Denmark Place. Denmark as well, no? Denmark as well with our partner, yeah. Better Place, and also all over Europe. But Fluence is a quite huge car, yeah. uh, 4.7 uh, 4 meters, so it's kind of uh, not the core market in, a, in, a, in the Europe. So that's for mid-2011. End of 2011, we will go out with this car, Twizy, yeah. all over Europe, many cities. Yeah. And then uh, from mid 2012, we get the Zoe, which will be really the mainstream car of our lineup. It's a yeah. four meter car, it's really B segment like the Clio. And this will really go to uh, every household in Europe, uh, replacing the second car of the household. Nice. So, uh is it uh, is there any official announcement about mass manufacturing? How 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 many are you going to make? How soon? I will. Usually we don't announce uh, yeah. how much we will make. Uh, yeah. First, it depends on customer if they want yeah. the car or not. But we really have a, a strategy of mass marketing, mass producing the car. So every car produced in a big one of our manufacturing plants on the same line as conventional car. So we can go up in volumes, really in uh, I would say in the hundreds of thousands uh, by 2020, uh, by 2012 or 13. Uh, with our cars. So if there's demand, you can you can supply. Okay. Yes, of course, and uh, we hope there there would be a lot of demand. So uh, I mean, they're not all uh, uh, like batteries. Uh, there's no better place in all of them, right? No, uh, actually, uh, this one it's really it has 100 kilometers uh, range, so you don't need a battery swap station if you if you're yeah. driving in cities. On the Fluence, which will go to uh, a yeah. market where a better place is, we will have the the, the battery uh, the battery switch uh, on system. All the Fluence or just some of them? Uh, all the Fluence that yeah. will go in, the, in, this, in those markets, and then uh, on the Zoe in the future we'll have as well the the, the switch station. And uh, in terms of price, is it cheaper to make an electric car than a normal car? It's not cheaper at first because we don't have any scale effect when we launch yeah. a car. Well, we're comparing a. Uh, uh, a technology that we produce at huge number, like uh, we, sell, we sold uh, 2.5 million cars yeah. last year yeah, of uh, conventional engines. Yeah. So we really have the scale effect on one side, not on the other side. So it's more expensive to, to sell the car at, at first. Uh, but what is also uh, to uh, build the car, but fortunately in many countries we have uh, incentive from the government, like yeah. bonus, like in France we have 5,000 euros. Okay. Which basically uh, lower down the, the price, and we have today when we announce the Kangoo, it's 15,000 euro with uh, with the bonus, so it's exactly the same price as a diesel Kangoo. So it's not more expensive to spend it to buy the car, and then you have a monthly fee for the battery, so you pay 72 euro uh, every month for the battery, and that's 
same price or cheaper than what you spent in uh, in the gasoline in your car. 72 euro per month. Uh, yes. That's not the better place model. There's something no, that's else, right? No, that's that for uh, Congo in, 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 in Europe. Yes. And the Congo is not a better place yet. No, no. You know, uh, cars are not. Better place is a, is a service provider. Better yeah. place is clearly uh, an infrastructure provider. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, cars that we sell with their services in uh, yeah. Israel and Denmark, but cars are Renault, they are not yeah. better place. But is it not easy like to kind of like uh, adapt the battery system so it can fit that system or is it, uh, uh, it needs a special design? No, we, we basically uh, standardize with better place uh, the, the mounting point for battery uh, switch. So every of our car will go into uh, their station without pro problem. Right. But we need not uh, adapt uh, this uh, system on every of our car. Mm -hmm. We mainly targeted uh, Fiance and Zoe, which are the mainstream cars. And if you pay 72 euro per month for the battery, it's your battery. You don't change it any any point, right? So oh, it's it's uh, it's not your battery. It's uh, it's a fee, and that's yeah. really for for France, where a better place is not for for the moment. So that's really our our pricing for the for the battery and services. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of like including the, the guarantee that it's going to be full capacity. Yeah, exactly. And if it goes low, then you can change it for free. Or? Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's that's uh, part of the of the, right. of the. Basically, you don't buy the battery, so you don't you don't have any risk on. Uh, my battery will uh, die or something. You really in a, in a, in something where you you subscribe to a service and Renault is uh, guaranteeing the service to get uh, miles every month. So how much will this one cost? Uh, we did not uh, already uh, announce the price on this one, but we are targeting the price of a big scooter, you know, the three wheeler. Okay. Uh, cool. So uh, in a few months, it's going to be available. Uh, it will be available end of 2011. So one year from now. Uh, one year. Okay. Thanks.